Hey everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new video. Today we have, I think it's part 8, of Leprosy for Seasons. So, I'm starting this right after the last part. We finally have our plants able to be able to, like, do things. They're not dormant anymore in the greenhouse, which is super exciting. So, here we are. We can come over here and actually take care of things. I have yet to really organize the greenhouse, just because I'm filming this right after I filmed the last part. And I don't really want to, like, stress over it right now. I will obviously have it done by the next part. But tonight I'm trying to film two videos just to kind of have them done for Thursday and Friday since I have some plans for Thursday. Um, which obviously would be over by the time you were seeing this video. But everything is good to go here. So let's come over and grab something to eat out of the fridge. We will go ahead and grab a little bit of autumn salad since all of the plants are good and taken care of. And we'll just kind of see what we get up to in this part. But I hope you're all having a lovely day. Happy Friday. And I'm very excited to kind of, you know, jump back into this. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to try and have some more parts of this up more often. Or at least making sure that I have like one part up a week. Because I am starting to fall in love with this again tonight. Um, even after just filming like, the last part and this part. And I'm realizing how much I miss leprosy. And like we are so far into it that we could literally have this entire thing done by the end of the year. Which is wild because I feel like I've been doing this since like, I, I don't know, probably three years now maybe? I have no idea for sure. But it feels like it's been a while. So we're going to go ahead. Um, she wants to grow 20 fruits or vegetables but obviously... Things over here aren't, you know, up to that pile yet. But I think we have enough things in here at least. So I don't have to worry about that. And then also this, like, greenhouse pack comes with... Is it in here? There's this little, like, plants versus zombies um, sunflower. But I don't know if I want it or not. Like, I know that a lot of this stuff can be used for fertilizer. But... I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use it. Um, I might actually. I don't think this counts, but we can go ahead and put down some beekeeping boxes. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and put down, like, two. I really don't think they count towards her career. I wish it did. But we can go ahead and do that to have at least a little bit more money. And I feel like it just kind of, you know, goes with her entire career to kind of have some beekeeping boxes. So we'll come over here. So we're going to smoke the box. Feed the bees. Um, smoke the box again. And then clean the box. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. I always, I don't know what it is, I always do smoking the box in between like every interaction. So we're just going to let her come back here and do this, take care of the bees, so that we can go ahead and have some honey that we can harvest and sell for money. But... I just, I don't know, I don't think, I don't, honestly don't remember the last time that I played with the gardening stuff. It, oh, I didn't realize he had aged up already. Okay, well, it looks like they are both now young adults, which is super exciting. I'm also very curious to see if there's a mod that you can, like, stop them from changing the outfit in between every single interaction here. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that off camera because... If I didn't have to have her change her outfit all the time, it wouldn't take as long to actually get things done. But okay, so it looks like everything's over there being watered. I didn't realize it had like a set schedule, but I'm not mad about it. So let's go ahead and just, you know, finish up with these bees, see what we can get done. She's getting tired, but if you are keeping up with this, you all know she's got like a very different sleep schedule than most of my sims. And it looks like Vita is doing a fundraising campaign for, I'm assuming she's in the politic career. So that's kind of exciting. She's, you know, making some money. But, oh, I didn't even know Florence is still alive. But okay, let's go ahead and move on over here so we can go ahead and take care of these little bees over here as well. And then probably go ahead and head to the bathroom and then get some sleep is what I'm thinking. We might actually take care of her fun as well depending on what time it is by the time she's done, like, everything. But yeah, this could be done so much faster if she didn't have to change her outfit, like, every single time. Like, just keep the beekeeping hat on. It's really not that difficult. But instead, she's got to do, like, little spinny twirls every time. So, 
I also don't know why she has a change to her everyday outfit for it. I've never actually noticed that until now. But okay, we're almost done at the bees. One more interaction and we should be good. Which is a good timing for this because she's getting quite cold. So let's go ahead and head back to the house so I can kind of cue her up here a little bit for this. So let's go ahead and take a shower. And then we will go ahead and use the bathroom. There we go. Perfect. So I am having like the smallest bit of lag, which is just from the snow. Nothing all too big of a deal, though. But, okay. Hurry up. Let's get this done and over with so we can go ahead and take care of your needs. I also didn't realize that the bee box drops your hygiene so much. I knew that, uh, like, gardening did, which to me makes sense. But I didn't realize that the bee bo keeping box did as well. But okay, go ahead, head inside, get warm, and I don't know if I'm going to have a head straight off to bed. I probably will, because it's going to probably be like 11 o'clock by the time she's done everything, but her fun could use a little bit of help as well. So, what do I want to do? Have a, I'm thinking we're just going to have a head straight to bed. I think that's the more logical option of the two. So let's go ahead, just fast forward through this, and then we can pick up in the morning. Okay, so we are back. It is now the next morning. She didn't wake up at like 3 a.m. this time. This time it's 5, so not as bad. But she's going ahead and eating her salad for breakfast. And we're going to go ahead and clean this up whenever we are done. Okay. She's really not in too bad of a mood. Like, it's really just her fun right now. And I don't believe we can do anything for her garden right yet. I think it's too early in the morning for that. So let's oh, look at the babies. Oh, I didn't realize you were out here. Okay. Well, she's going to go ahead and fill the food bowl, which is perfectly fine. Um, is anything good over here? Can we do anything yet? Everything, like, bloomed very suddenly. But I think we're actually going to come over here and take care of the bees. Because I'm thinking by the time that we do that, we should be good to go for her garden. So let's just go ahead and queue some stuff up over here as much as I can. Okay. And it looks like we actually already have some honey to harvest. So we're slowly but surely making progress. And we have an excellent apple tree. So hopefully we can go ahead and get everything started here. But okay, so there we go. We have our honey. We have our beeswax. So she's going to go ahead and head in here to take care of all of the plants. I don't think she has to do a whole lot at least. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell this just for some money. So it doesn't count towards her job, which is fine. I'm not going to stress over that, but you know, it is still nice to have some money every now and then. So I meant to sell both of those, but okay. So it looks like our garden is done already. That was very quick. Um, let's come over here and pay the bills very quickly. And... Uh, what do I want? I need to clean this up, but I don't know if I want to have her, like, clean up the entire house first, or what my entire plan is, but we do need to pay the bills, so we'll get that done here quite quickly. Perfect. So, we can go ahead and head inside, take care of some of her needs, clean this up. Okay. So let's go ahead and come over here to use the bathroom, get her needs good, and then we'll go ahead and clean up the house. Oh. I didn't realize that that wasn't going to function because of the fridge. Well, that's fine. She can go ahead and use the garbage can outside at least. I tried. Normally I forget the garbage cans, but you know what happens. So let's go ahead and... Okay. We're not doing terribly. I feel like we're doing fairly well for time. So, let's go ahead and answer the phone. Oh, it's Michael. What does he want? Sure. I will let her go ahead and talk to him, get her social up a bit, clean the house whenever you're done. That was a very quick phone call. So, we will go ahead and clean up the house, just make sure that everything is good, nothing, because I feel like the bathrooms can get dirty quite quickly, so I want to make sure that everything's good and clean, especially after the cat was sick. So, let's just go ahead and do that really here. We don't currently have any harvestables that we can give to Parker quite yet, which was a pop-up in the last part. And she has these flowers, but I don't know where to put them. 
Like, I feel like we don't really have any space. Everything's clean. Let's go ahead and maybe lead for a little bit. Um, just until things are good to go for the garden. We're not doing terribly. We're almost, like, halfway to level 9. So let's just kind of speed through this. Uh, I can't give Shadow a flea bath because I don't have space in this house. So I'm just going to cheat that really quick. Um, normally I wouldn't, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And... Everything good over here? I think so. I feel like everything's not doing terribly, and having some excellent stuff makes me happy. Oh. Okay, everything just, like, spawned right in front of our eyes. So, there we go with the 20, like, plants, which is quite nice. I think that's what that one was, those are 20 plants. So, instead of reading her book, how about we come over here and tend to her garden? We can go ahead and harvest everything. Oh, I wish this was a little bit quicker than what it is, but I know it's my own doing, and even if having, like, the gardening mod is just me being impatient. Okay, so we are done with that, so we can actually go ahead and deliver everything to Parker, but I think I'm gonna have her come inside and eat first, just to kind of, you know, make sure that she's in a good mood. Her hunger is getting quite low, and just in case her and Parker end up spending a little bit of time together afterwards, I'd much rather have her come over here and eat. So we don't have anything perfect yet, but I think we're slowly but surely working towards it. And I do want to fertilize the garden as well. But I also know that, like, I don't want to risk it by going and doing that and then going to do this situation for Parker, just in case we end up messing that up. Um, now there's, like, snow and, like, hitting my window. So, everything's just going to have, like, a bunch of background noise. I'm very sorry for that. But, okay, let's go ahead and deliver everything to Parker really quick now as well after we clean this up. And hopefully this goes fairly quickly. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, we'll just go ahead and head over here to wherever Parker is, get this stuff. I think he gives us money for it. Why are we running? Where is he? Oh, he's literally just down the street. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and give him whatever it is that he wanted. And, oh, 760 simoleons for that. That's not bad. Okay, so the final meal should be delicious. Perfect. So we still are at zero, which is fine. Um, okay. So there was just also, like, a sound, but I don't know what that was. So I'm going to have to try and figure that out. But let's go ahead and ask about thoughts of having children again, maybe. And... Now your phone is ringing. Alright, so yeah, we still only know, like, two of his, uh, three of his traits. We still have two to know. But, okay, let's do this very quickly, and I'm pretty sure Shadow was dying. I thought so. I was pretty sure that's what that sound was whenever it finally clicked in my mind. So let's run back over here so that you can actually be here. That was a lot faster than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. I figured we had at least the rest of this part and maybe, like, half of the next part. I wasn't expecting at the end of this part, but okay. Uh, no, we are not going on a date with Malcolm. Alright, well, bye, Shadow. It was nice to see ya. I have a feeling Shadow's gonna have a red ghost, which makes me sad. But, um, I just, oh, no. She's gonna end up fainting. I already know it. Every single time my Sims get scared, they faint. But I don't know, yep, I called it. I don't know where I'm going to put Shadow. I don't know if I want to just, like, put Shadow in the inventory for right now or what I want to do. But we have a lot of produce that I might actually be able to use the composter. But yeah, she's going to go ahead and, like, faint over here. There we are. Am I surprised? Not at all. Because I think, was it her? Did she faint in one part during Supernatural as well? Possibly. But I want to go ahead and take a look at the pets, just because she does want to adopt a cat. So we'll go ahead and take a look, and I don't want Leo being completely alone. So let's go ahead and open this up. You can place, like, three things in here, so we'll just put some apples. And, um, okay. I guess we'll go ahead and fertilize the garden. But we should be fairly good, but I really want to take a look at the pets. Yeah, I figured as much. Shadow's got a red ghost. Which means that Shadow didn't have a good life, which is very sad, but... Okay, get up. This is very overdramatic. Okay. How are you doing, Leo? Are we good? Oh, Leo's in a fantastic mood. P 
perfect. So let's go ahead and call the shelter, see if there's like any friends that we can go ahead and adopt with Leo and you know, just kind of go from there. So we have Benji, Lisa, Dakota, um, Jezebel, Elma, and Mushy, Mushy. Oh my goodness. We have to get Elma. They look like they could be related. Okay, we're getting Elma. And I'm going to keep his name the same, just because I don't really mind too much. And uh, then we'll go ahead and head back, you know, deal with the compost and such. And see what we can kind of, you know, continue to get done. But I feel like I'm probably going to end up wrapping this video up fairly soon. Just because I've been filming for probably about like 40 minutes now. So let's go ahead and just fertilize. Oh, no. Okay, no, no, no. I didn't mean I wanted you to like fertilize that way. Um, use composter. So really that was my doing. I, you can literally tell I never use this. But okay, let's use the composter. Because I think that should fertilize everything in one go. And how are we doing? Okay, so I'm assuming it just automatically like goes. I'm not going to place anything in there for now. I'm actually going to go ahead and sell all the produce that we have just to try and get like some promotions in her job. So one, two, okay, so we're at least level three. So she wants to get to level five, which we can definitely do. We have a little bit to go though. I don't think these are going to end up, eh, that's not worth, no. Tomatoes and lettuce aren't worth a whole lot, but I will still go ahead and sell them anyways. If I can, you know, click on things. Okay. So, we're going to lock in the improved gardening skill. So, we are back. It is now the evening of. She's just going to come in here and take care of herself. So, we are up to level 3. So, not terrible off of one day. But I know it's going to take a little bit more to slowly, like, build everything up. But we're just going to go ahead and let her take care of some of her needs. I'm probably going to let her watch a little bit of TV tonight. Just because her fun is a lot lower than expected. And then we'll go ahead and head off to bed. But yeah, we're waiting for Alma to show up. So maybe they're like long lost brothers or something of the sort. Who knows? But I feel like we've been fairly productive. I Why are you in your graduation outfit? That's kind of weird. But okay. Um, I think she's actually even on the gardening channel. So that's helping us out already. Because we are fairly close to level 9. We might even be able to get that through her TV. But I'm just going to let her go until she literally decides that she doesn't want to watch TV anymore and is ready to go to bed. So, honestly, the, her fun goes up really quick this way. So I'm going to go ahead and actually let her head off to bed and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part. So if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically six days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. Look at her eyelashes. They are definitely not in place. But yeah, so if you make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And um, I will see you all in my very next video with this lovely face right here. But okay, bye lovelies!